Hello. Ooh, David Bradley from the pet room here. Um, yeah, so we have two machines side by side. This one, the keyboard, this is the rusty pet, seems to be just fine. Now, funny thing happened. Well, I had this thing sitting here, and I don't know how. I have no clue. When you turn on the pet, it comes up in uppercase and graphics mode. On the 8032, it's upper and lowercase. Anyway, somehow while this was sitting here, something happened. And I looked over, and it was in upper and lowercase rather than uppercase and graphics mode. And how do we tell? Because the Commodore Basic 4.0 message was now in lowercase. I have no explanation. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up. Making sure they don't hit each other and scratch each other. Okay, so now, is there a chance at all that this cable would reach there? And the answer is no, there is not. Now, the other thing is this, this one is socketed. I could swap the chip that might have something to do with this. I could. I don't know why you're not going back on there. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Pins get a little bit bent. Okay. So that's back on. But you know what I think I'm going to do? Oh, yeah is does this screwdriver fit nicely yes it does do not push the pet up i there are a lot of screws that hold the keyboard in place there are i think tw tw 12. And it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure upwards, but I just, I don't want this thing to, for me to push up and for it to slam down. And the screws have been in here. Oh, no, you don't. For a very long time. So they are not keen. Oh. Coming out, but they will just need to be firm and use gentle but firm pressure. But certainly, you don't want the machine to slam shut because at this age, such a jarring blow could do bad things. Now, I'm getting to the fifth screw. Oh, no, you don't. No, you do not. I'm not going to undo the sixth one on the front yet. Because then the keyboard gets kind of weird and floppy. It's funny, as I, before, remember, I pulled the connector off and wiggled it and such. This earlier machine, it does not have such a connector. It is hardwired. Which I'm sure eventually, at some point, they said, you know, maybe we should put a connector on that thing. Now, let's see. That is not touching the wall, but it, I wouldn't mind if it did, but it's not. Uh, okay, see, I got to get up in here and get these screws out. And going on an angle is not really ideal. It is not. You want to get straight on the, because there's nothing like ripping up the head of a Phillips head screw with the wrong size screwdriver or on an angle and then 
not being able to get it out. That is not beautiful. Okay. So, once this is out of here, and we're almost there, three screws to go. This one first. <sighs> okay, don't worry. The machine is not turned on. Okay, last one. I'm really hoping that this gives me some sort of answer. I'd love it for it to be working and well no, I wouldn't. I mean cleaning the keyboard's not bad. Swapping out chips is not bad. But if a keyboard cleaning will take care of it. And that's probably better than having a bad chip. So here we have the keyboard. That's Okay, okay, now before anything terrible happens, because this is just up in the air, I'll put that back down. I will remove this connector and put this one on in its place. There is only one way to put this on, because there is, there's one pin missing, and there's a thing that keeps that pin full. Okay, it's in. So, I can set this here quite safely. I can turn this machine on. Wait for it to come alive. And I'll hit the return key. And nothing is happening. Absolutely stone cold nothing. Okay, well, that is a sign. If nothing is happening. That is an indication that this keyboard is filthy dirty. And probably the chips are fine. Probably, but that's, uh, that's a whole other operation. Taking the keyboard apart. Now, I would kind of like to be able to put that on there. But I really, I really don't want to undo another one of these. This one's fine. So I'm just going to, at this point, assume, because the, uh, the results are identical, that what we have is a very dirty keyboard. Down. What's on here? Oh, yeah. Ha! Huh. And I'll turn this back on, and it will come up, and it will be fine. And I will slide it a little, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. 
and I will turn this on and it will come up and it does and I will close the lid there they are um, Certainly this one was made earlier. This is the one It has the ceramic sort of case. It has the thin thing here. This is the one where they might have put disk drives in, but they never did. Um, except on the later, 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 later models. So, I guess, because I'm trying to do things as they come up, the next thing I should do is take this keyboard well, that connector. Oh man. Oh, there we go. And you know, I can look at these pins. They look lovely. Everything here looks lovely, but it does not work. There's a lot of dust and debris in here, but where it really matters is in here. So the way to do this is really, you see, there's, oh, get that light out of there. There's the keyboard. There's all these little screws. They have to call come out. You have to take a soldering iron and unsolder these wires the shift lock key which means of course later you got to put them back and in the meantime there are there's there's the board and then there's these little rubber feet and they all needed to need to be worked over i use rubbing alcohol some people say you shouldn't i remember at the fix at night some said no 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 you don't use that anyway i do so i figure I should clear some space here, gather my resources, and take this apart, I think. It's funny, i got to find somewhere in the bag I have the screws for the two other machines I took apart, and i got to find them. So I can put them back in so I know they are nicely secured. But I don't know where that is yet. Anyway, I don't need to secure, secure this one yet because I'm still tinkering. But it's working. So. Thanks for coming. Stay tuned. I'll try and find an interesting angle to film this from. That you can see very well what it is that I'm doing. I'll do my best. Anyway, thank you for coming. Stay tuned. This machine is almost, almost there. Bye for now.